We are Steve and Jill. Together, we've been buying and reselling land since the 90s. Our data-centric approach leaves our buyers asking, how can you sell it so cheap? Here on the Land Academy Show. We answer that and more. Stephen Jill here. Howdy. Welcome to the Land Academy Show, entertaining land investment talk. I'm Stephen Jack Butella. And I'm Jill DeWitt, broadcasting from the Valley of the Sun. Today, Jill and I talk about, well, we're going to talk about a beginner's guide to doing land deals. I broke it down in a couple of steps um, from like, you know, zero to 30, I should say. Jill and I often have different takes on, on what these shows should be about, and today is no exception. Exactly. We often have different <laughs> takes on everything, from parenting to where we're going to dinner tonight. We do not have different takes on the following. Getting rich together. Yes. Getting in an RV. When that should happen. True. How to run our staff. True. For the most part. Right. Leaving town. I think we're... Almost on. Well, not we're not on the same page about parenting. You're right, but that's. I don't think you should be. I think you need you need two of them going at it. We're on the same page about vehicles in the garage and toys. We're pretty good about that because it, no one will say no. It's pretty much a yeah. We should get one of those. We're on the same page about how much real estate we should own and not own and where. That's that's true. So I, that's a pretty I kind big of agree deal. With actually. That. Before we get into it, let's take a question posted by one of our members on the landinvestors.com online community. It's free. And don't forget to subscribe on the Land Academy YouTube channel and comment on the shows you like. Victor wrote, what does it mean when a property is co-owned with an or instead of an and? I'm putting in quotes here. Jane Smith and John Smith instead of Jane Smith or John Smith. Both are deceased and the daughter wants to sell. It means absolutely nothing. This is incorrect. And it's a great question. Mm -hmm. uh, whoever did this best indeed before you or, or before them didn't do it right. Mm -hmm. Here's how you do it. Jane Smith and John Smith own this property as joint tenants with rights of survivorship. One of them dies, the other one owns it all. Uh -huh. At the moment that that person passes without any paperwork, it's a beautiful thing, actually. Mm -hmm. But eventually, John's going to die too. And that's what goes on here. Yeah. Even yeah, any, any deed you come up with, you might even find still some tenants in common. You know, whatever it is. The or doesn't mean anything. The or doesn't count. There what or, counts it, are the words after it. Yes. Yes. Well said. Thank you. What also counts is that they're both dead. Yeah. And so to answer that, depending on the state, that's really easy to undo or really hard. Arizona, it's very hard. California, it's very easy. Right. So, I'll and it always, it that. And always, it always changes or else I would directly answer it. California mm -hmm. requires an affidavit of, of death and uh, oh. Arizona requires a whole new, uh, it's a, uh, in a lot of cases, just not worth it. Yeah. A, a new uh, estate settle, settlement. Right. Or it means nothing. That's the takeaway from there. That's it. Today's topic, a beginner, this is a beginner's guide to doing land deals. This is why you're listening. You want to start? <laughs> sure. <laughs> if you want me to. I'll start. You want me to start? I thought you would have something to say. That you, usually hey, you look, dive you right in. Here, I'm going to be, I don't want to sound like, at the risk of sounding like your father. Uh-oh. You mind, your, your head's got to be into this. I told somebody at recently, Jill and I were lucky enough to have dinner with some people that organized a live event near our house. They're all members. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Thank you, Paul. And I said, you know, there are many people that land, very successful Land Academy members find us. We can't go out and find them. And that was it? Well, if you're, if you found us okay. and you're listening to this and this is step one. Okay. I can't go out and find you and convince you that buying and selling land is great. You're going to shake right. your head and say, this is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. We have years and years and years of talking to people, uh, whether it's at social events or, or everywhere, and, and just telling people that we buy and sell land, they'll, they will never get it. But for some reason, if you find us on the internet and it makes sense to you and we make sense to you, that's the start. Mm -hmm. That's the start of the beginner's guide to doing land deals. 
Okay, here's where here's how I break this down. <clears throat> so you're you're listening to us right now. You're like, this is great. I see your community. I see all the stuff going on. This could be something for me. Where do I start? You know what I want you to do? Keep doing what you're doing, first of all. I broke it into four sections. My oh, first good. section, you're organized. I'm gonna save this here. <laughs> <laughs> the first section <laughs> is research, like you're doing right now. Like you're listening to this. You may have listened to several of these. Um, I want you to listen. I want you to read. And not just us. I want you to take in every possible thing you can find of any person related to doing land transactions. Don't get bogged down with commercial. Don't get bogged down with different property types. Don't get bogged down with houses yet or mobiles yet or info lots yet, anything like that. Just get the get the research done and spend months on this. I, don't, I mean, not don't spend days and hours. I want you to spend, you know, weeks and months on this. I want you to have 90 days or so in going, you know what? I think this is my people. I think I found it. I've been listening to these guys for a while now. I've been, I, I'm so sick of binge whatever. I'm, I think I'm ready to 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 make that step. Okay, so that's number one. Research. Research. Number two, education. Now it's like, all right, I'm ready to go. And don't we just say, well, I'm gonna go buy a list from somebody or I'm just gonna wing it here. I'd rather you not do that. I'd rather you do it right. Because you could, we, by, by investing in education, you're still not investing a lot of money in properties and it's something you could easily undo. You can go, oh shoot, now I really got into it. Now I got the education, now I realize there's, you know, how many steps are involved and I got all the moving parts figured out that, oh, that's overwhelming, you know, or you could go, oh, now I got it. You know, hopefully you're, you did enough research. That's usually how it goes. You do enough research. Once you get the education, it, it usually fills in the missing pieces and puts it all in order for you. So now you're like, oh, I can do this. So that's step two. Step three, dive in, do it. Don't, I want you to spend more time on research. So if you spend 90 days to six months on research, I'm just thinking out loud here. I want you to get the education, spend 30 days on education. I want you to cram that in. And I, cause I don't want you to spend another year on education because in your, you've wasted a year and a half now. I want you to really be committed when you do that education. I want you to get 30 days and try to get a mailer out. And that goes into step three, which is dive in. I want you to do it and own it and be ready and buy some property and don't look back. Know you're gonna make some mistakes, who cares? And then that lights, that goes into my final step, which is step four, um, lean on your peers, use your peers. This is one uh, place that, uh, not, just, not just Land Academy, but there's a lot of nice people in the land space. I don't know if they were before we came along, <laughs> but. But I know within Land Academy, you have uh, a plethora of knowledge behind you and experience. I mean, we got we got people six years with Land Academy mm -hmm. here you can talk to. Yep. And they've made all those mistakes. And you've got 20-something years of uh, experience right here and over 10 years of experience right here with mm -hmm. me. Um, more with Steven and, well, and a good chunk with me. 30 years of sales experience with you. Oh, thank you. I've got that. I do have that. Um, I've got the most of that coming into this. So we're right here. We're all going to help you. So that's, that's my beginner's guide. Research one, education two, three dive in, and then four, use your peers. I mean, I, there's nothing else I can say that's going to top that or, or really add to it except this. You have to be dedicated to make this work. This is not a, a $5 app. You start, it's not day trading where turn you, it on, you, turn you it just off. turn it on. You just, Figure out a little, maybe the, if you really get into day trading, you spend two or three hours in a spreadsheet making out a plan, and then you start executing. That's not this. Mm -hmm. You really, the people that are successful at this, and this, there are some of them that are wildly successful. We met with some of them a couple nights ago, are dedicated. Mm -hmm. This is their full-time job. They're dedicated. They've done just what Jill said. They've followed the steps. Mm -hmm. Yep. You don't have to live, eat, and breathe it. You probably, if you really love it, you accidentally will. That's right. And that's that's a good, that's kind of us. Totally like right. We can't get in a car. You may have or may not have heard this before, but we get in the, we can't get in a car without one of us turning on an app and shouting out property values. 
<laughs> that's true. I don't care if we go to the grocery store. Yeah, even in our own neighborhood. Hey, that's for sale now. What do they mm -hmm. list that one for? Yeah. That's exactly how it goes. <laughs> that's right. It's good. If you need access to any sort of ownership or property details, including owner phone numbers and FEMA flood map overlays, please check out parcelfact.com or neighborscoop.com, created by investors, that's us, for investors like you. Happy you could join us today. Five days a week, you can find us right here on the Land Academy Show. Tomorrow, the episode on the House Academy Show We're is called House, The Housing Market's Back, and so now is House Academy. You are not alone in your real estate ambition. I should have made that announcement. We're changing it up, everyone. Here's the schedule. Because I know there's several of you that like to know our schedule. <laughs> Mondays and Tuesdays, good old fashioned Land Academy. Wednesdays, House Academy, but it always ties back into everything that we're doing. It's all still, you know, Mailers relative. And, yeah. But maybe a little nuance on houses. And even if you're in the land world, you kind of want to pay attention to houses because the land stuff usually follows right behind. Uh, Thursdays are still going to be Jack Thursdays and the more technical content. And then Fridays are still going to be get some love with Jill. <laughs> <laughs> Jill Fridays. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. By the way, if you're a Land Academy member, be sure you join us on Discord. We're Steve and Jill. Information. And inspiration. To buy undervalued property. We hope you find our content valuable and we appreciate your support. If you have not already, please check out our channel and hit the subscribe button. And your comments and suggestions help us uh, to create the content you're here for. Hitting the like button helps to support our channel's algorithm and gauge your interest for future shows.